Hi my friends, we are here with second part of our fried liver attack which starts with Italian game after two knights defense by black we play knight g5 attacking the f7 spot black's only response is d5 and we take last time we have seen what happens if knight takes this time we go to the main line knight a5 check takes takes and here is where the theory starts so far all moves were almost forced here we have several continuation bishop d3 bishop e2 and queen f3 and this is the line that i'm going to discuss before i go in and discuss deeply let me tell you what is the situation what is the goals and so on uh, here white is up a pawn the pawn structure of white is better if white managed to develop pieces carefully without losing anything and without damaging the structure heavily then the only one can, that can win is white but of course, black in this path tries to develop pieces with tempo. And as you can see, white is already behind development. So no, the goal of white is to give as less as tempo as possible to black. And of course, don't drop a piece. Don't blunder anything. Okay. And how black wants to develop with tempo? Uh, Black wants to develop um, pawns, uh, make a pawn um, storm f4 and uh, e5 and so on. Or another idea is to bring the rook from b8 to around b4 and then go to the h4 or g4. Oh, sorry. And these are the ideas Black has. Okay, how to continue from here? Black has uh, several options. Um, bishop e7 is the most natural option. Rook b8 is the second most natural option. Queen c7 can be played. Some people even play crazy bishop g4. Looks uh, funny, good, but it's not good. And uh, also it is possible to take this bishop. And after we take the rook, there is a game to be played. And I will discuss that later. What I'm going to discuss today is rook b8 because... Uh, main ideas are behind this rook b8 so it's better to start with that one rook b8 our bishop is under attack we should retreat the bishop of course we can take that pawn but it's a poison pawn for example here queen attacks the knight we should defend it then bishop develops and attack the knight we should retreat and then such an innocent looking move of castling is uh, dead loss for white because white's queen is trapped to save the queen you should give a lot of material and this is not what we are looking for so don't go greedy. The, remember, the goal of white is to consolidate, not win further material. If the black blunders, of course white win, but this is not a blunder. So don't take it and just retreat the bishop. Retreat the bishop, black develops uh, bishop. Here we can castle. And another main point here is that we don't want to let black to play knight c5 uh, knight d5 Be uh, right now black cannot play because we take this pawn and it's end of the day for black mm, but uh, there are positions they can okay we can castle but we don't castle i suggest to play knight c3 it's just matter of move order it's not a big deal uh, knight c3 just to block the e pawn and have a defender for our knight later so black castles notice that here we cannot castle because then black plays knight d5 the thing that we don't want just to see how bad is this uh, our knight is attacked we retreat it then um, black just develops with tempo so we don't castle what can we do what was the problem knight d5 we should stop it can you find a good move for them to stop it it's range enough queen d and three stops that because if they play knight d5 this is a mate and this is why our queen is out the reason i play queen f3 actually is because it is aggressive it's not just defending it is also attacking uh, white is open material white usually should defend in such cases but this is also very aggressive move so uh, after queen d3 black has to move the queen 
if they exchange the queens then white has a very easy play up a pawn pawn structure of white is good is a bit down development but there's no queen to deliver mate so white is just happy let's say black doesn't exchange queens and we play normal game here we castle again knight d5 is not possible for the same reason right and instead black should decide what to do against our knight or any other move black has two continuation first kick our knight this is not a big idea okay it's a common idea but the main idea that black has is to place um, bring the rook in rook b4 what's the plan as i said rook wants to go to the king side and attack our king don't play, don't kick this rook because the rook is here to just to move you know don't kick it uh, instead try to develop further and this move b3 is important for two reasons first enables at some positions to um, let your bishop to go to b2 second prevents black's knight to come in right now black's knight is really doing nothing and the best for black is to retreat the knight uh, at some point okay is really doing nothing there it can be only subject of attacks so what's the best continuation for black they first kick the knight uh, our knight is very strong there and after exchanging pair of knights it seems that they are developing with tempo but it is not a development with tempo they lost one of the attackers the knight so we are happy we retreat the knight here black should play careful if they play careless for example continue pawn storm then it's bad because what do we play do we play queen g3 no this is awful move because continuous pawn is on instead we play queen h3 looks stupid right because after pawn push bishop attacks our queen but we have a beautiful bishop to support us and this position is basically a winning position for white because black has a very weak pawn structure uh, cannot afford exchanging bishop if tries to go crazy we just grab the bishop and then we are up a piece so black doesn't make such a obvious mistake continues the main move that they have in mind rook h4 sounds odd right what does the rook doing there let's say we do a stupid move of for example pushing pawn to uh a5 uh, a4 then e5 uh, e4 is a good move because then we don't have queen h3 and where do you go to g3 this is a sad day for white and this is the end of a game so we should react to this rook and the best move is to kick it we kick the rook away and after rook moves away we bring the queen to f3 notice that by pushing g3 we weakened our uh, pawn structure and our um, white scores are weak so we should keep our bishop on the board and um, to take care of that weak square and we are almost there we are almost completing the opening phase uh, it's uh, it remained to develop the bishop currently we cannot develop the bishop and if black tries to kick our queen then it's just good for us we just go back because this um, pawn blocks the path of bishop uh, bishop wants to attack from this side and go on this time but um, blocks this pass and this is not good for black black just loses the tempo so best for black is just for example and uh, try to attack to our queen and just slide away don't uh, stay in the x-ray of the bishop and if they try to pair the queen and bishop together offer bishop exchange and here what should do uh, very well you can even exchange the bishop or uh, you can uh, just simply develop your pawns and um, bring the bishop out notice that you cannot develop the, the bishop because black can capture this uh, pawn at some points so uh, in some order uh, you can just develop the pawns and then develop the bishop so this is end of the theory here and uh, uh, okay um, black uh, should do something should activate the knight and you can also exchange the knights and um, with the queen and you can do anything else so you can do many no, other moves as well 
uh, I call it end of a tutorial, so you can give it check first. Uh, you can um, uh, you have many options as a white. I call here the end of tutorial for this part because we basically develop all our pieces. Let's go back and see what happens after h6 instead of instead of rook b4. Uh, rook b4 is an idea. It can be played later. Oh, here plays h6. We simply retreat the knight, and here black cannot play d5 again, knight d5 again because we capture. If captures, don't grab it with the queen because then your queen is uh, trapped. But after capture, just uh, retreat the knight, and then the pawn is weak, and they should do something with that pawn because we win that pawn next move. And so if they push, then we can exchange the knight with the bishop and enjoy the game so uh, let's go back uh, so they don't play knight d5 what was the plan of black black wants to push the pawns and make pawn a storm right and uh, they played knight d5 just to assert the pawn a storm but they can play differently they can retreat the knight then play uh, f5 and right now you know that okay your knight could be in short of a square so let's make some squares for the knight and we do that by playing knight a4 the other knight a4 because okay uh, move order it doesn't matter too much maybe rook comes in first then knight goes to c4 c5 sorry and here we see a similar maneuver from black they bring the rook in and uh, but uh, this time our knights are very well placed and they uh, are de uh, de well developed and uh, black cannot uh, assert the pawn as on with tempos so we just move the uh, queen away and they may assert pawn as storm and then if you have a chance at any moment that you can play before then just do it because this b4, playing b4 in one shot is very important. It's uh, get, uh, gaining lots of tempo. And I just showed, uh, I just want to show you this f5 is bad. For example, you get b4 for free. And this is very bad for black because white's completely uh, developed. And all pieces are in very good position for white. Also, white can exchange some pieces. And just exchanging pieces is uh, good for white because for example 10 over 9 is smaller than 3 over 2 right or is smaller than 2 over 1 when you are up single pawn it's better to exchange more pieces until you have uh, enough uh, advantage uh, if uh, you're up a pawn but uh, every piece in the is in the board then everything can happen but if you're up a pawn but and there is only king and you uh, there is a, there are only, only kings on the board then most likely you win so just to show you how simply black can go wrong uh, such a simple natural move of for example knight f6 could cost the black um, could cost black the game because this check will end up winning the uh, exchange and this way um, black loses of course black can play better but only side that can play for win in this position is white yes this was our rook b8 series no not our rook b8 atom and we will discuss the other items on the other lines later stay tuned and don't forget to like and if you like it a lot then subscribe see you next time bye